Welcome to the Ottoman Survival and I'm sitting in this baby right now and this is Kuti speaking. Yeah, and this is the Ottoman Survival guy. Yeah. Alright guys, don't forget to fasten your seatbelts. Buckle up. Let's uh, take a tour around Africa. This is the best channel for you to follow around. This is the best channel for you to subscribe if you haven't yet so that you are notified each and every time when you drop a new video because we are dropping beautiful stuff that comes from Africa. We bring Africa right at your doorstep. So please stick around as we are now venturing into another order. This is the order Carnivora where we are talking about the carnivores of Africa. So in today's uh, video, the beginning, we are beginning with the wild dog the african wild dog some prefer to call it the painted dog so this is the lacayan pictus that's the scientific name lacayan pictus this animal feeds on meat as i said that these are the carnivores it feeds on meat from the small to medium size antelope and anything that they can take down down depending on the availability so it depends on whatever they can take down and these animals usually hunt on a pack they hunt like a pack so they are always successful in most of the cases and they don't kill their prey but they feed while the prey is still running so we normally say these animals feed on the most freshest uh, meat ever because they rip off the chunks of meat while the animal is still running so these animals are normally found in our uh, packs we call them the packs the groups of the um wild dogs are called the packs so that will be the animals from about uh, 8 to around 20 or 22 animals and uh, they are so sociable they help one another in that pack so these animals will weigh from i mean will weigh from about uh, 20 to around uh, 35 kilograms that's um are both males and the females and they give birth to about 2 to 21 young ones after a gestation period of around 75 days and the birth peak is around june to july over there and uh, they can live up to like 12 years in the wild and you know these animals say that uh, they live like a pack they live in a pack so they help one another a lot so when they go hunting whatever they catch there they feed on the meat and some chunks of the meat are not chewed they just swallow them as they are and then they bring them back into the den uh to their uh, remaining um pups or the kids that are remaining behind and also the older uh pack members that cannot hunt anymore they remain behind looking after the young ones so as they get back to the den what they do they regurgitate the meat like uh, vomiting the meat that they ate so that the other pack members will find something to eat that's why i said these animals are so sociable they are very very much uh, um, friendly when it comes to their relatives and uh just uh, in addition to this these animals they will never intermarry within the pack what they do when it's time for the uh, female wild dogs to start to do the reproduction and stuff like that what they do they take them to another pack which is about far away from where they are so by so doing they are trying to eliminate the weaker genes because it is believed that when they inter uh, marry or when they inter uh, reproduce what happens they produce the weaker genes so they take them from their pack into a faraway pack and then they uh, marry them there they leave them there that's what happens with the other females they come to their pack and marry the uh, males in that pack and uh, when it comes to reproduction not all animals do the reproduction it's only an alpha male and the alpha female that does the reproduction then the rest are there to help in raising the young ones and also they are there to help when it comes to hunting these are the wild dog the lacayan pictus Well, let's continue. Let's continue. Now we are talking about the black backed jackal. Black backed jackal. This is uh, the Canis mesomelas. Canis mesomelas. That's the scientific name. This is an animal that looks really like a dog. It's a small animal. It looks like a dog. It's brown all over the body and it has got uh, the black back uh, and also it has got uh, the tail that is shaggy sharp pointed nose and sharp pointed ears it is always found following other carnivores most of the times because it 
also a scavenger. So this is a resourceful animal because it feeds on anything that comes their way. Also the arthropods are fed on and it also feeds on the fruits as well. It can hunt some of the small animals that they can find, especially uh, when the impalas are giving path. It is there to just pick the young one there and then it will feed on that. So it's a scavenger that is so resourceful because it feeds on anything that comes on its way. Feeding on the fruits and that gives us an omnivorous uh, status. So that's a dog that is an omnivorous. Sometimes it's found following the the elephants because the elephant dung most of the times has got some fruits that are not digested so it will just open up then you start to feed on the fruits that are remaining there and also when it turns around uh, the elephant pool it will find some beetles and stuff like that then it will feed on that so that's a very resourceful animal that looks for protein everywhere that it can actually uh, manage to so these animals um for the males they weigh up to like uh nine and a half kilograms and the females goes up to like 10 kilograms that shows that the females are slightly larger than the uh, males so the females are larger than the males about 10 kilograms and then the males nine and a half kilograms and their gestation period is around 60 days giving birth to around one to six pups that's around the months of july to october and uh, in the world these animals can live up to 10 years beautiful animals canis mesomelis Canis mesomelas. And these Canis mesomelas, they have the uh, brother, the side striped jackal. Side striped jackal. And this one is the Canis adastus. Canis adastus, that's the scientific name. The diet is almost similar to the uh, above animal, the black backed jackal, of which they actually like just feed on anything that they find there. And also the vegetable matter as well. So some sort of uh, carnivorous, I mean omnivorous uh, status. So they feed on anything that they find. And uh, these animals are also like around eight and a half kilograms for the females and the males are around nine and a half kilograms. That shows that the males are slightly larger, larger than the females. So their gestation period is also 60 days like uh, the other jackal because they're almost of the same size. And the birth peak around July to October as well, giving birth to one to around six young ones and uh, they can live up to like uh, 12 years that's in the wild this is the canis adastus the side striped jackal but when it comes to their um what can i say to where they are found their habitat it's a bit um or slightly different because the distribution in each and every country is actually different where you find the side striped jackal is not where you find the black backed jackal and in most of the countries the uh, side striped jackal are a bit scarcey and um, it's rare to see them but with the black backed jackal everywhere where you go you find them and they are so very beautiful animals so we are still continuing guys if we are making sense to you please don't forget to like our videos and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel when you subscribe please do make sure that you activate the notification bell so that whenever we upload a new video you are notified already and we will never leave you behind we want to take you to places we want to show you stuff we want to teach you we want to make you a true african up until you manage to visit africa someday so we are dropping beautiful videos each and every day and we are dropping valuable information that you need to know for those who want to do tourism in africa this is the channel that you need to stick around so guys like share and subscribe to our channel thank you so much from me the ultimate survivor i love you so much